All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Super excited today because we are doing an unboxing video. I haven't really done an unboxing video in a long time, um, but I just received this new product from Netherlands. This is the Carbo Soda M200. This is a completely new product from Netherlands. And I don't know, I don't think there's anything like this at, on the market right now. So I've already gotten a glimpse of this product a few months back when I was visiting uh, Danila. But right now it's finally hitting the market. So I just checked the, the Green Aqua website and they have it on their website and I think it's available on the 23rd of December. So that's in a few days from now. Super excited. So the Carbo Soda M200 is a complete CO2 system for SodaStream bottles. So SodaStream, that's those um, yeah, systems that you can have at home to make your own carbonated drinks. So you can make your own cola at home, you can make your own sparkling water at home, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, those SodaStream bottles can of course be used for our aquarium as well. And the good thing about those SodaStream bottles is that they can be purchased anywhere, at least here in the Netherlands. I can just go to my grocery store and pick up one of those SodaStream bottles. So that's super convenient. Now SodaStream itself is not really new. I think it's been around for a few years already. Um, I even know a few people who are already using these SodaStream bottles for their CO2 system. But I don't think there has been a CO2 system specifically designed for these bottles. So that's what we have right here. And normally if you want to use a CO2 regulator, you would always have to buy like a special adapter to be able to fit your regulator on these SodaStream bottles because it's a different connection, it's a different thread. So yeah, curious about this and let's start unboxing it. Now before we open it up, let's take a minute to appreciate the, the packaging, which I think looks really good. Uh, Daniel is kind of changing the company colors. So now we have the dark green letters with the dark blue and almost, yeah, it's almost black. And I think it looks really good, very modern, very minimalistic. I mean, we just have the image of the product itself with a short description. So we have a CO2 fertilization system for soda systems, including soda CO2 cylinder. So it's very clear on yeah, what you're buying. And I think if you see this product in the shop, you know exactly what it is and you know exactly what you're buying. So I think that's great. All right, that's everything unpacked. So this is what you get right here. We have a CO2 soda stream bottle. We have the stand so the bottle doesn't tip over, like so. Uh, we have the CO2 diffuser. This is the Ultra M. We have two meters of CO2 tubing, a non-return valve, a pressure reducer, and a manual. So that's all. So let's take a closer look at this uh, soda stream bottle. Looks pretty cool with the dark blue and the, uh, the Dandela logo. Uh, let's remove this seal. So that's our SodaStream bottle ready to go. So in here there is 425 grams of CO2, which is, this is a good amount. Uh, should last quite a long time. Uh, according to Dandela, this whole set is, is good for grams up to 200 liters. I think that can work, of course. Uh, I personally will not use it on anything bigger than I'll say 100 liters. If you use 425 grams on 200 liter aquarium, you're gonna be swapping out bottles very quickly, you know? Like it will probably last only two, maybe three months. I will, I'm probably gonna use this on this small nano aquarium right here. That's 40, 40 liters. And I think 40, 425 grams should last me six, seven months easily. Okay, so here on top, we have the special soda stream adapter, connection, thread, whatever you wanna call it. So this is where our pressure reducer will go on top. So a normal CO2 regulator will not fit on here. Actually, let's compare it to a, to a normal CO2 bottle. So this is the soda stream bottle. In here, I have a usual CO2 bottle. So here you can kind of see the differences. Soda stream is facing upwards. Regular CO2 bottle is facing sideways. And the soda stream has a very thick thread. So there's like two lines here and the regular CO2 bottle has a lot more lines. Also the, the hole is very, very thick here 
and the soda stream bottle has a very very tiny hole okay let's move on to the pressure reducer i really love how how small this thing is so we have a small pressure gauge here then the large knob is for the working pressure the small knob is for the bubble count and here we have the connection for the co2 tubing so let's just screw this on right away so i've been reading the manual and it says when you screw on the, the pressure reducer uh, at some point you will feel like a slight resistance and that's when the connection is hitting the uh, the pin that's going to open the co2 basically so if i continue uh, twisting now you might hear some hissing so we have to do this quite quickly okay so that's our pressure reducer on yeah in my head i still thought i had to twist it a lot because that's kind of what i'm used to but if you give it one full spin it's pretty much attached so let's see if we have pressure um this one is closed the needle valve the, the bubble counter is also closed so let's see if we can oh hello there Okay, we're almost ready setting up our CO2 system. Honestly, that was super simple. Uh, there's only one thing left to do, and that is to add our CO2 diffuser. So this is the Ultra M, and I really like these diffusers. Like, I don't know how they do it, but with this brown ceramic ring, you get this super fine CO2 mist. Uh, but at the same time, you don't need a lot of pressure to get the bubbles through. So yeah, I really love these diffusers. They also work with my DOI CO2 system. So yeah, that just proves how little pressure you need for, for this to work. So we just need to add this to the uh, to the air tubing and then we're pretty much good to go. Oh yeah, one more thing about these diffusers. Uh, so they're made out of acrylic and they have this small chamber here which also acts as a bubble counter. But if you want this to work then you need to fill up with water. Now one way you can do that is just by placing the diffuser inside the aquarium. Like eventually it will fill itself up with water. But if you want to speed the whole process up a little bit you can just um, add water with the syringe. Just kind of push it in. So that's what I did with this one. So now we're all ready to go. Alright guys, that's our soda stream system up and running. Super easy, honestly the easiest CO2 system I've ever had to install. Really happy with it, it works really well. Uh, I'm, I do think it's missing one thing though, that's my personal opinion. Uh, it's labeled as a complete CO2 system. And it's true, it is a complete system, it has everything you need to be able to in inject CO2 into your aquarium. But I just really wish they would have included a solenoid valve, just a way to shut up the CO2 at night when we're not using it. But I get that makes the whole system more expensive and yeah, maybe some people don't want to spend that much money. Of course you can buy the solenoid separately and install it anyway, but yeah, if it's a complete system I would have also wanted a, uh, a solenoid valve, but yeah, that's maybe personal. But yeah, besides that I have nothing bad to say about this system. I really like how it looks, it's very minimalistic and even just now standing next to the aquarium, like it looks quite good. I don't feel the need to hide it somewhere underneath in the, in the cabinet or something. I like how small that pressure reducer is and the needle valve is, is very good as well because sometimes with these CO2 regulators the needle valve can be very sensitive like with just a small twist all of a sudden you're injecting way more CO2 
This one actually requires you to actually twist it quite a bit before you get more bubbles per second, so I like that. And I think this whole idea with these solar stream bottles is just really cool. I mean, I personally don't have a solar stream bottle system, but for me it's very easy to get these bottles. So if I run out of CO2, it's very easy to find a replacement. And with regular CO2 bottles, sometimes it can still be a little bit tricky. I mean, I have to go to a aquarium store and it's a bit far away. I have to travel like half an hour, 45 minutes to just to refill my CO2 system, you know. And with this one, I can just go to the grocery store or I can just simply order one online. And they're a lot cheaper as well. Like I can get a refill for this for like five euros or something. So that's, yeah, that's definitely a good thing. But yeah, I'm really curious what you guys think of this CO2 system. So let me know in the comments if you own a SodaStream bottle system. And let me know if you can buy these bottles locally in your area. And let me know if you would consider buying this system. That's the end of the video. Really hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to smash that like button. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.